32 workers working at the Superdome have tested positive for the coronavirus. Now, because the Superdome project was considered essential work, work at the iconic stadium never stopped, even when stay-at-home orders were, were put in place throughout the state of Louisiana. Now, overall, about 275 men and women work daily on the Superdome renovation, but a spokesperson tells me that on some days, that number can and has ballooned to four or 500 people daily. 23 different subcontractors are being used to renovate the stadium, but the lead contractor is Broadmoor LLC. In a statement released to WDSU by the LSED, the government entity that oversees the dome, they say, after learning of the affected workers, Broadmoor LLC, the main contractor for the project, implemented its coronavirus response plan to ensure that those affected workers had been isolated away from the job site. Those workers will be required to complete the CDC compliant protocol and provide Broadmoor LLC evidence of a negative COVID-19 test before being allowed back on the site. We have also increased mitigation measures, such as mandatory masks, to protect workers who remain on the job. Right now is phase one of a four-year, $450 million renovation at the Dome that is set to be completed in 2023.